you about the hobbies and things that I do. Um, I really sort of enjoyed doing them since we've been living full time in the motorhome because we spend uh, about 90% of our time outside. So I've sort of kind of changed, um, started a new hobby, which the biggest one I've started is crocheting. Um, you can get wool in Europe or anywhere, um, so it's easy to do. There's lots of help and patterns online. And so I've been, I've made up some squares of practicing different types of pattern. Um, and then I've sewn them all together and I'm just making the border now. Um, so it's taken me quite a while, but I've enjoyed it. And Pippin already loves it, so it's going to be well used. Um, I'll just show you my favourite one. I think, I think that's my favourite. I do like the bright colours. I love that one. So what else have I made? This, I made this little, I got some cotton yarn and I made this little crochet bowl, which I really like. The cotton yarn is quite thin and it's a bit like string, I suppose, in a way. So I've made that. And, oh, and this little project bag so that when I'm out and about, I can put my, what, Whatever I'm in the middle of doing I can take it with me if we go to the pub I can sit and do that and in so idea I've just got some squares of heart squares I've been making I need to make 76 of those so um, that's another long project but you know it keeps you occupied I do a different things each day I've tried making the toys but that's so hard um, so the other thing I do is um, we do the puzzle books Steve and I we try to sit down every well not every night but every so often and we'll try and do a puzzle between us um, which is not that easy but we do enjoy doing it and it, it keeps our brain active so that's a new thing we never used to do these puzzles so um, I've got so that's one thing we took up oh yes Steve these are the little not that one but these are the teddies I've made so far the little teddies <laughs> well what you, I'm telling you it's a teddy but you might not have known it was this little teddy actually when first time we went to Australia my daughter-in-law Lisa gave it to me and um, it was just on the dressing table as a little gift so if every country we've been in um, or place I've bought pin badges and I put them on him but there's no room for any more so there's just a few on there so he's, he's he means a lot to me and the last thing of course which is my I think my greatest love is reading um because I always wanted to work in a library or a bookshop I just love them it's my happy place they are um since since my mum died I haven't read the sort of books I used to read um I'm on a much lighter sort of book now this one for example is by Rosamond Pilchard Pilchard Pilcher, not pilchard. <laughs> um, so the sort of like, um, just light reading, you know, about families and romances and things like that. So I enjoy them very, very much. Um, so that's what I do. I mean, I've always got books. So when I've read one, this won't be kept. I'll just swap it. We might be on a site somewhere or on a rally or... I'll meet someone and I'll give them the books. There's no room to keep books once they've been read. Um, I've, got, I've got a few in the van because I bought them in the charity shops while we've been over here. But, you know, that's what we do. We swap them or I'll give them away and I won't keep them. So, I don't know. It just makes me very happy because I like sitting outside, you know, in our different gardens. I call them our gardens and I really, really like it. I think we're very lucky. Um, to be able to do this and I just feel very happy and blessed. Steve sits out here too but he usually is on the phone or the internet you know doing things like that editing so that's his great love yeah well anyway oh and Pippin of course she wanders around and has a little sleep which she's doing now next to me so thank you everyone for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this little video so I'm going to say bye bye for now mm -hmm.